What is up, YouTube? Oh my god, breaking news. This is happening right now. Dave Ziegler, the general manager, the man himself. This is straight from the man himself. With the May 2nd deadline approaching, the fifth year option deadline approaching, the Raiders had decided not to pick up the fifth year options of first round pick Cleveland Farrell, Josh Jacobs, and Jonathan Abram. We look forward to working with all three players and we will evaluate each situation individually moving forward. From Dave Ziegler, wow. So this is crazy because these guys really were the core of our team in 2019 we selected them all with the first round and now it looks like they might be out of the building i first want to just explain what a fifth year option is a lot of people really do not know so basically it's a one-year extension after the four years of your rookie deal have expired and if you reach two or more pro bowls in that amount of time the fifth year option is the average of the five highest salaries at that position now if you only make one pro bowl you average out the 10 highest salaries at your position and if you don't make the pro bowl if you played 75 percent of the snaps you average out the third to the 20th highest salaries at your position or you average out the third to the 25th highest at your position so jacobs then abram then farrell would have been the more expensive fifth year options in this order but ziegler decided to say no on all of them and to be honest we kind of saw this coming outside of josh jacobs abram and farrell have not performed well at all yo if you're watching this video make sure to like it to boost it in the algorithm and subscribe to this channel to get more raiders news daily we're going to be going live today day to during the draft at 3 30 p.m pacific time 6 30 eastern time so make sure you enable notifications so you don't miss it now josh jacobs was the one person who i thought we should exercise the fifth year option yes he battles with injuries but to be honest i think gruden overused this guy the gruden gave him way too many carries early in his career and obviously that's going to lead to injuries at a position that is so high impact i want you guys to notice this mtf miss tackles force out of all running backs in the nfl josh jacobs is always fifth highest or even better, sometimes he is second or third and missed tackles forced. That's an amazing stat and shows just how special he is. People just cannot tackle this guy like other running backs. And sometimes it's easier for both sides to do the fifth year option if a player is going to remain. Basically, Ziggler's gonna have to come to a long-term agreement if you wanna keep Josh Jacobs, because I highly doubt he signs for a one-year deal that's lower than what the fifth year option would have been. Hopefully we work something out with him, maybe a two to three year deal. Perhaps the cap hit will be lower than the fifth year option and that's what we're working on. That's what I hope is happening for Josh Jacobs. Let me know in the comments if you guys want us to extend this guy, Josh Jacobs. We got Kenyon Drake, who we restructured, so he's probably going to be on the team this year and next year. Brandon Bolden signed to a two-year deal. There's still space for running back, but this really leaves the door open for the Raiders to draft a running back if we're not going to extend Josh Jacobs. Now, Jonathan Abram, people are wondering, okay, can this guy move to linebacker? He struggled in coverage, but he's great in the box. He's a hard hitter, but he's often injured. And to be honest, to be a linebacker, he would probably have to gain like 20 to 30 more pounds he's only 205 pounds right here and i know patrick graham sometimes has a safety at linebacker in his defense especially when they're in the 335 you've seen jabril peppers line up at linebacker for patrick graham just last year but i don't understand why that has to be jonathan abram i think there's tons of other people who could fill that role and maybe the coaching staff is thinking about giving tyree gillespie a shot they just extended dallin levitt dallin levitt is going to make almost three million bucks this year he's actually the second highest paid safety per per year on our team. So Down Levitt's gonna get his shot. And we know the Raiders have also picked up Duran Harmon. So all these moves signify that Abram's basically on a prove it year. And I think the Raiders are gonna wait till the end of this season to make a decision on Abram. I don't know if the trade market's big for Abram, if people are just picking up the phone saying, give me Jonathan Abram, give me Jonathan Abram. But if they are, I wouldn't be surprised if Ziggler does move this guy, probably for a fourth or maybe a fifth round pick, to be honest. Either way, I hope he bounces back. Abram seems like a great guy. And I love the energy that he brings on the field. But Unfortunately, it hasn't been what we expected with the Raiders for a first round pick. And then we got Cleland Farrell, and I just feel like this guy is still a decent defensive end, but the fact that you're picked fourth overall, it just makes it tough to be excited about the play on the field. The thing that's crazy is we've just seen the snap count decline over the years. Look at 2019, 648, 461, 273. I actually was going to check the numbers. I don't even know if he would have reached 75% of the snaps to get that third to 20 
20th average at the fifth year option. He might actually not even have 75% of snaps in his first three years as a Raider. I still think you maybe keep this guy on the roster. You can't move him this year until after June. And I don't know how great the trade market is going to be for Cleveland Furl after June, but we have picked up some great players after June. Think about it. We traded for Denzel Perryman just like a few weeks before the start of the season last year. And Denzel Perryman ended up being a Pro Bowl linebacker for us. So if we could somehow find that value before the season and Farrell is a part of that, you know Ziggler's going to go for that. But we're honestly going to have to wait till after the draft to see what our biggest holes are on this roster. But I do think Cleveland Farrell could still start for another NFL team. He can still be a solid run defender. I just think his price is too high. And no matter where he goes next year, he is definitely going to have to take a discount from that nine million bucks a year you see right here. Either way, we'll see what the future holds for all these players. Let me know in the comments if you think the Raiders should re-sign any of these players to a multi-year deal, or should they trade or just let go let go of these players. I personally think we should just let Cleveland Farrell play out his contract this year. He could be great depth in case somebody goes down like Crosby and Chandler Jones, and I think this is a Super Bowl year for us. We should be having Super Bowl aspirations, so why not have tons of depth there on the defensive line? So we hope to see you at draft night day two. We're going to be picking in the third round. Hopefully we trade up for some more excitement but check us out at 3 30 p.m pacific time 6 30 eastern time my name is wi-fi willie of the raiders rundown peace out and have a good one